What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Deliver.8. Uh, for the ones who do know, that's great. For the ones who don't know, Deliver.8 is basically a social media automation tool that's going to help you to auto-fetch any of your uh, social network accounts and auto-share it to any of your social network accounts. Well, it comes with a free plan and the paid ones, but today we're going to talk about the free ones and the bitter experience that I've had with Deliver.8. Um, like I was looking for a social media automation tool and I came across Deliverit a week back. I signed up for Deliverit, I set up all my accounts, so I set up my Pinterest uh, feed on Deliverit so that I could auto fetch all my uh, posts from Pinterest to my LinkedIn and on my Twitter. Uh, well, it worked really well for me for the first three days. However, the third day onwards, I started getting this glitch that, you know, whatever I was posting on my Pinterest, I will, I mean, it was not getting auto-fetched on my LinkedIn uh, for some reason. On Twitter, it was going, but it was not getting fetched on the LinkedIn account. And I do agree that they have a free plan which comes with a per plan, I mean, per social network platform, you will be only able to post three posts on a single day. So I scheduled my posts accordingly only because I wanted to leverage that part. However, for some reason that glitch happened and um, I tried to sign into my Deliverate account after that which did not allow me to do that. It told me that I am not authorized to go ahead and sign into my own account. So this was really funny to me because this has never happened uh, earlier. However, so I, I went ahead and I wrote an email to Deliver.8, which I'm going to show you at the end of this video. And they responded me saying that uh, I the reason I'm not able to sign into my own account is because I do not have a paid plan with them. Now, this is something which is a very funny scenario for me and I have never came across this kind of a situation. I'm, I'm quite sure that you also wouldn't have, you know, ever came across like a vendor telling me, Bhai, listen, you need to have, if you don't have a paid account, nahi hai, so I'm not going to allow you to, uh, if you do not have a paid account, I'm not going to allow you to go ahead and enter your own account. This is something which is really funny and it sounds like a data breaching thing for me. So I have written an email back to them because... If this is how you guys work, I don't want to work with you guys. I mean, I don't want my data to be included with you guys. So I've written an email which they have not yet responded back. But I just thought of sharing this particular review with you guys because Deliver.it is a free app or a free platform. And a lot of people might consider going ahead and sharing their data or their social media data with this particular uh, uh, vendor. So... I'm just going to show you that email, just go ahead and I mean just have a look at yourself and uh, just take the decision whether you want to go ahead and sign in to deliver it in future or not. And if you find this video helpful after checking the email, please go ahead and hit the like button and share this video with the people uh, you feel are, you know, could be a, could be a, could be a part of this data breach is what I mean to say. That's it. Let's get started. So here we are on the mobile screen. This is the email. Uh, I, I cannot show you the email that I have sent to Deliverit. The reason because Deliverit takes the support request on this particular page. And as you can see over here below, it's showing my request and submit a request. If I click on any of them, it takes me to this particular page. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try uh, using my Gmail account to go ahead and sign in again. Just give me one minute. Alright, so I had to pause the video because I have a lot of uh, Gmail accounts on my phone. Anyway, so it says like, as you can see, the bearded geek hasn't been authorized to sign into your Deliver.it account. Try logging out of Google uh, or sign up instead. Okay, now I went ahead and I shared this update with Deliver.it. Uh, Deliver.it responds me, hello, you are receiving this notice because... Um, you have reached your daily posting limit for one or more of your social profiles. Your social media posting is stopped. The basic plan includes three daily posts per social platform. Uh, unlock unlimited posting. All our pro users enjoy unlimited daily posting upgrade and so on and blah, 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 blah. No matter how often you hit, this is the point you need to whatever. Uh, no matter how often you hit your daily limit, you will receive this notice no more than once every three days 
Now, I received this notice yesterday. I received this notice today. I have received this notice day before yesterday. So I don't know what exactly they are talking about once every three days. That is something which is absolutely stupid. Uh, another part is view your rate limits and whatever the stupidity which they have. So I have written to them saying I agree the posting can stop, but you not giving me to access to sign into the account that is wrong i would like to log into my account at least doesn't matter even if i don't want to upgrade because this purely sounds like you guys are collecting data i have had accounts where i haven't purchased the product in past but that never stopped me from signing into my own account please fix this request to help me with it now the moment i went ahead now this is basically as you can see this notice is at deliver it. This is their email ID. Okay. And that's the funniest part is this email ID is not found. Like whenever you go ahead and respond back to this particular email ID. So this email ID is not found. So there is definitely something glitchy happening at deliver.it. Um, that's about it. I just wanted to show you uh, this particular thing because getting a particular email from that email ID and telling me address not found I would have agreed if it has not reached the particular uh, sender or something but address not found is something really a very fishy part for me so this is something which I wanted to share with you guys all right so that was my update I thought this would be helpful if it was helpful please hit the like button and share this video with your market of friends because you never know how many more applications would be like taking up your data. I mean, privacy is very, the very important factor in 2021. Please do not let your privacy go for, you know, or for a toss. So that's about it. If you are uh, not yet subscribed to the channel, I don't know what are you waiting for. And check out the comment that is pinned. There are 26 digital tools that you can go ahead and utilize in your program with my affiliate links in that. Uh, and you can check out the social media links in my description below. You can say always a hi, come and say a hi. I'm always available on social media. That's about it from my end. Take care. See you. I'll be back with another hack.